Before we get into the regular algorithm for subtraction, I want to model subtraction using the base, the base 10 blocks. In this first amount, we have 22. And we want to take from that 22, 11. So to, to do that, we're first going to remove any ones that we have. Here we have one, one, so we want to remove that. And we also want to take away a 10 or a rod. So I'm going to take away that. And what's left is going to be a 10 and a 1 or 11. In this case, we didn't have to do any trading. Let's go ahead and do one where we're doing some trading. Let's say we have 23. And we want to take away from that 14. Now, notice that I have more ones than I do here. And since we're taking this amount away from this amount, I need to trade this rod for 10 individual units. And so I'm going to go ahead and take that away and bring in 10 of those pieces. One, five, six, seven, eight. nine, ten. Now I can take away four. One, two, three, four. And what I have left is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And if I take away one, one rod, or one ten, my leftover is nine. Let's do a problem where we have the 100 or the flat. Here I have 100 and let's say I have 110 and we'll go with 3. And I want to take away 42. Let's see, I'm sure you can see it. So we've got 42, and I want to take that away from 113. Now, thankfully, I don't need to trade in a rod for 10 because I have enough ones on this side to take away two. So I'm left with one unit left. Looks like I have more tens here than I do on this side. So that means I need to trade in 100 for 10 tens. So let me go ahead and do that. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now I can take away 4 tens. 1, 2, 3, 4. And what's left is going to be part of my answer. So I have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 1. And that would be my answer.